them big old bream again. What is happening guys? It is day two of my quest to go find a carp. We're going back to the exact same place that we went yesterday. Caught some absolutely beautiful bream, a nice eel, bit my finger. Not swearing at you, just bit that finger. Back down here today, it's literally it's like eight o'clock in the morning right now. We're not as early as yesterday by like 20 minutes. But yeah, we're gonna be here all day. Hopefully catch one of those carp today, man. We've brought everything with us again to attempt this again. So yeah, fingers crossed, we'll shoot the place now. Big old bream again. Not as big as yesterday's. I'm gonna go for a hand net. Yes, man. <laughs> yes. Get him on the mat. I nearly ripped Rodin River, man. Have a look at this bad boy. Beautiful fish. Where's the hook? The dog yet. Wow. Got ya. That was on a couple of expanders, man. Like seven, eight mil expanders. Beautiful. Out of nowhere. 
See, he's not as big as ones from yesterday, man. He's what? Must be three pound. Feels like he's spawning, or he's just finished spawning. Feisty. I'm do now to you, man. Beautiful fish. I can hold him right. Beautiful little fish, man. Say it's about three pound. Not half as big as those ones from yesterday. What a nice fish. Say it took a couple of seven, eight mil expanders, man. That's the jump. Here we come for car. This is all you ever hear of like carpers, like when people go carp fishing or you talk to people that go carp fishing. They always go on about getting They always go on about getting drained with bream. Yeah, we'll not say no to one of these bream like. Nice fish. And these were uh, like floating expanders as well. I was fishing this about two feet up in water on a zig rig. Beautiful man. They rip rod clean off rest. Nice fish. Let's throw him back. In it. Go on. He's out of there. Gone. Yeah, man, it's literally like I think it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. That was our first fish of the day. Beautiful fish, man. Hey, we're going to try that exact same rig again. Get some of those big expanders on the go. Who want these carp, man? What's going on? But yeah, guys, let's carry on. Hopefully, we can catch some more of those big fish. That was crazy, that. I was literally then as well, I was in the middle of. Oh, it was a bite. I was in the middle of tweeting Minster FM, trying to get on my local radio. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Rod the started ripping off, man, nightmare, and they say it was that bream, beautiful fish. But yeah, guys, let's carry on, we'll get some more of these expanders put on, see what we can catch. There's a fish just there, look, just topped right there, right where we're fishing. Right where we're fishing. But yeah, there isn't as many people wandering about today, which is a good thing. I don't mind talking to people on bank and things like that, you know what I mean, but so at places like this you get people all day which is like kind of draining, you know what I mean. But not today man, we haven't seen a single person all day, literally all day, which is what we want and it's a weekend as well, it's Saturday today. Beautiful stuff man. Hey guys, we're going to carry on, it's literally, it's just gone 12 o'clock. Still got all day yet. Yeah. See what's crackalackling. To fair, I'm enjoying this rain, man. It sounds nice on Broly, you know what I mean? It's relaxing. o'clock now guys still ain't caught a carp <laughs> I mean we could go to like a commercial you know what I mean and catch carp all day long but it's just not the same we want one of these big ones seen loads of fish topping though that's why I, st 
don't think these carp are spawning at the moment. Fish, these carp usually spawn, and carp in general usually spawn about late May, early June, you know what I mean? It's literally, I think it's the 8th of June today, so it's prime time for those fish to be spawning. We're gonna go carp fishing all. I say we're still on this quest, you know what I mean? This is just day two. We're gonna catch a big carp, 20 pound plus, I'm not even joking. While I was here yesterday, there's a guy came down who sat here for a while, just um, chilling, you know what I mean, watching me catch some fish and that. And uh, he, this guy goes carping a lot, and he's showing me some pictures of some like 40 pound carp. These are literally absolutely beautiful carp. And uh, I asked him to show me how to tie some carp rigs, you know what I mean, because I don't really go carp fishing at all, ever, you know what I mean, not since I was like 15 sort of thing. And he tied a few carp rigs up for me, and while he was doing that, he like broke my um, baiting needle and like he was like oh I'll bring you a new one you know what I mean and I was like oh don't worry about it I say I've had these for like 10 years sort of thing man there was a, a bit rusty you know what I mean so he broke it and he's literally just been down and brought me a, a brand new baiting needle man I can't believe it it's come down out of nowhere he was, he was on his way fishing right now he was going to a syndicate lake somewhere and he popped down before he went there and he's brought me a brand new baiting needle, man. I cannot believe it, man. I was like, you didn't have to do that, mate. He was like, I oh, don't worry about it. I felt bad yesterday. I was like, no way. Cheers, buddy. Beautiful stuff, man. And sound guy. That's what you want, man. So he caught some massive fish. He even showed me a picture of a 183-pound catfish that he caught in Spain. I think it was last year or something like that. Unbelievable fish, man. Massive. It took... It was like two people holding this fish. Crazy, man. Massive. Hey guys, so it's about three o'clock now. We're going to give it till about six today because it's literally it has it's rained since we got here and it hasn't stopped since. You know what I mean? I'm drenched. Everything's drenched. So yeah, if we don't catch any carp by six o'clock, probably going to go home for then. But yeah, it's literally not the end of it though. We're going on this carp quest. Until we catch a big carp, you know what I mean? It's nice and relaxing, just chilling out under Rolly and not rain and that. I've had some music on and stuff. I've been listening to my local radio. And I tweeted my local radio as well. <laughs> Minster FM. And um, they retweeted the thing on their page for me as well. I told them I was fish filming an Adam's Fishing Adventure today. And they retweeted the post for me onto their website, man. They've got over like 30,000 followers on there. I can't believe it. But yeah, man, that's what you want. On a... An hilarious comment from a guy as well on there, he said, um, I'll show you it. That was the comment there, guys, he's hilarious, we like that comment. Beautiful stuff, man. So yeah, we're going to be here till later on. Fingers crossed for one of these carp, man, I want to catch one of these carp, it's draining me. It's my rag, got my rag hanging there. Always bring, I like to bring two rags with me. Especially on a rainy day, because it's not worse than having wet hands all day. Now worse. So I get one out in the morning, and I'll use that right until it's like sodden, you know what I mean? I'll hang it on the brolly where it can stay sort of blow dry, you know what I mean? But I'll keep another spare one, a dry one, in my bag, just for like midday sort of thing, just so you can start using a dry cloth again, just to dry your hands and things, because it is an absolute nightmare having wet hands while you're fishing. Now worse. Beautiful stuff. So yeah, we're gonna carry on, guys. And I'll see you soon if we catch a fish, hopefully. Alright then, guys. We're gonna call it a day there, man. It's literally six o'clock now. No more fish. We had that one bream earlier on. Nightmare. It's day two of our quest to catch a massive carp though. We're going to catch one of these carp, don't you worry. Out of this place as well. I say we're definitely going to be fishing over there at some point soon. Beautiful stuff. Even if we have to chuck right over, man, we'll do that, no problem. If you haven't already, why not go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit that little notification button and you'll know every time we upload a video. Can't go wrong. It's still raining, man. It's getting even worse right now. I'm absolutely drenched. All my stuff is absolutely drenched. I'm gonna pack up, go home, get myself a nice warm shower and something to eat, man. We'll be back at it next week. The river's open next week. It's gonna be a beautiful week, that. Hey, we're in a match next Sunday, man, so make sure you hit that notification button. You'll know every time we upload one of those matches. 
Hey guys, I'll see you next week. Bye. On tomorrow's episode of Adam's Fishing Adventures.